Hello, and welcome to this introduction to front-end optimization. Delivering a page to a user is a complicated process, made up of many different steps. These steps can be loosely split into back-end and front-end actions. The back-end includes accepting the user request and fulfilling it, generating a page to be returned to the user. This part involves databases, server-side code, security controls, and more. The front-end includes everything that follows the page creation. This means delivering the page and its resources over the network to the user, as well as rendering and processing it in the browser. Front-end optimization, or FEO for short, is an overarching title for a series of techniques used to speed up the front-end components. While back-end optimization is a standard practice and a variety of tools help achieve it, front-end optimization is a newer field and is still painfully lacking in relevant expertise and solutions. The complete process of speeding up your site, including both back-end and front-end, is often referred to as Web Performance Optimization, or WPO. Ironically, while the vast majority of WPO spending is on the back-end, recent research shows that the front-end is where users do most of their waiting. Studies by Google, Yahoo, Amazon, and others conclude that at least 50, if not 90% of the user's wait time is spent after the back-end completed its job. Why is so much time spent on the front end? Various trends contribute to this problem. First of all, web pages are getting bigger and heavier. Web pages have tripled in size over the past few years, a result of adding more and more content, functionality, and media components to satisfy our users. Bigger pages are slower to download and harder to process for the browsers, and the rich functionality is fertile ground for performance bottlenecks. The next trend that plays a role is mobile browsing. Mobile browsing is growing rapidly and is expected to exceed desktop browsing in the US by 2014. However, mobile devices are less powerful than desktops and cellular networks are slower. This makes them even more susceptible to the problems created by the richer web pages. To make things worse, the mobile market is highly fragmented, each device running a different operating system, a different browser, and on different hardware. This makes it very hard to build one page that will be fast in all browsers. Lastly, the shortage of FEO tools and expertise, as compared to backend optimization, impacts these statistics as well. Website owners default to spending their time and money on the backend and don't know how or even that they should look into speeding up the rest. This is why developing front-end optimization tools, promoting relevant expertise, and even just spreading the news about this problem are an important undertaking. FEO techniques vary greatly, but most of them aim to reduce upload time, download time, and browser processing time. To speed up downloads, FEO attempts to reduce the amount of data being sent over the wire. This can be done by compressing data, removing unused data, avoiding redundant downloads, and more. Using a content delivery network helps make the remaining bytes get to the user faster. Reducing upload time is done in ways such as caching, guiding the browser to request more files in parallel, and combining files together to reduce the total number of requests. Lastly, improving browser processing time deals with the way different browsers process JavaScript, CSS, and other technologies. These techniques include replacing inefficient style instructions, making visible components render before invisible ones, and more. These goals don't cover all FEO techniques, as some techniques are much more unique. What is certain is that all FEO techniques aim to provide a better user experience by speeding up the load and interaction time with the page. The front-end optimization series is a constantly updated set of presentations that explain the different ways you can speed up your site. These presentations are meant to help guide developers who plan to implement these techniques and to help users of automated FEO tools, such as Blaze, understand what happens behind the scenes. Since this is a relatively new field, New techniques come up very frequently and existing ones are updated, so be sure to check in periodically to see what has changed. To learn more about the different FEO optimization techniques, watch the technique-specific presentations on the Blaze website. Thanks for listening.